Hi, it's Nancy here and um, I've not posted for a while, um, but I really felt called to do this and I've been, I've, wanting to be do, I've been wanting to do a vlog for quite a long time now and I've had quite a few requests um, from various people on, on the different sort of avenues of my life that I pursue to, to maybe do this, to, to get my, put my thoughts to camera, to film, to whatever you want to call it. And as I say, what a crazy few weeks this has been. Everybody's lives have changed um, irreparably. There's, you know, there's no going back from this and everything has changed. And I think that I'm hoping that this will become a little bit of a kinder place and that we will learn something from this. But it is a tough time. This is a tough time for everybody. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was living, living the dream, doing my dream job, styling ladies, women for, you know, for a living. And um, now I'm working on a checkout in a supermarket and that's how things are and actually it's okay. I actually cope quite well with change. Um, it takes a while for me to um, process, but I actually feel like I've accepted the, what's going on now um, because there are people out there who are a lot worse off. And when the NHS um, clapping was on last, you know, when it was clapping for the NHS last night, I was just in bits because I just thought these people are just angels and we couldn't do without them. We really couldn't. And also coming from a third world country where we have no health service, I'm even more grateful for our NHS and, and what it's done for me personally and for my, my younger son who was very ill for a very long time. Just incredible. Um, but yeah, just a strange week and everybody's going through this seismic shift and we're all having to redress you know, what we do and look at things in a completely different light. And yeah, I'm just all over the shop. I've, I'm, I'm processing but, and I'm, I'm okay. But I'm, I'm just, I don't know where I am. I feel very unsettled. And this is not helping. So I am literally eating my own body weight in chocolate. And I have to confess that I broke into my son's Easter eggs. And I ate, ate a whole Aero Easter egg. It was really bad. And this is sitting here and it's got my name on it. And I'm just feeling, mm, is now the time to be worrying about my waistline and, you know, what I look like? And because actually nobody really cares at the moment, to be honest with you. So chocolate has become my solace. And I just wondered how many people out there were feeling the same way as well. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm not condoning it, but it's, it's definitely become, you know, a, a sort of a bit of a crutch, certainly in the evenings. Um, trying to do online yoga because I'm missing my regular yoga classes and that's quite hard to motivate. I, it's weird, I lack the motivation to do these things because I would rather drive 20 minutes down the road to my amazing yoga studio and, and do a workout than put my yoga mat up in the, in the lounge and do one for 20 minutes. What's the big deal? Why is it so hard? Well, clearly it is. Um, so yeah, and I'm missing the theatre. I'm missing the theatre a lot. I'm missing... I'm going to shows every week and reviewing and, and just being part of that incredible culture that I feel so privileged to be a part of. Um, but equally so, I really, really feel for those people who don't have jobs now, those people who entertain us week after week on stage, who now have no, no livelihood, their livelihood is gone. And that really pains me as someone who is so sort of so ingrained in the entertainment industry. It's part of what I do with my podcasts. I've recorded quite a few podcasts and obviously um, a lot of the events have had to be cancelled. So that's made me really sad and sad for my guests as well. I, mean, I, have, I still I have a podcast that came out last week um, with Arts One with Ross and that was great, doing really well. And I've got a couple of others, but you know, a few have had to be cancelled and it's just... It's heartbreaking for everybody. Um, I'm speaking to lots of people now saying, well, how am I going to get through, you know, not going to the hairdresser? And these are all things that women, you know, we never think about these things. Like we just, we go to our hairdresser, we have our eyebrows done, we just get it done, we get our nails done or whatever your, whatever your thing is. I'm thinking, oh my God, in three weeks time, I'm going to look horrendous. I'm going to, I'm going to be, I don't even know what my natural color is. I think there's a lot of gray in there somewhere. So we're all going to be, you know, we're all going to be in the same boat. And I'm talking to so many women online now. They're saying everyone's going to look horrendous. We're going to end up with a monobrow. We're going to have roots. Um, you know, we're going to look like, I don't know. It's just... It's just crazy, crazy time, but actually it all seems a little bit unimportant at the moment. Um, so I, yeah, I just wanted to kind of reach out and see if there was anything that anybody wanted to chat to me about. Um, DM me, I'm really happy to do an online uh, styling session if someone wants to um, to do that. I think that's, that's definitely the way forward. Um, I've got some theatre reviews that I, I'm going to post as well. So I just want to kind of keep 
keep chatting to people and as I said please DM me if there's anything you want to chat about because as you know I do love a good chat um you know chocolate um, my cat is just walking into view no she's gone she's not pleased um and just talk about you know let, let's just be let's be open there she is hello mama right on cue she's definitely asserting her independence um so yeah i just wanted to say check in and say hi i know this is a bit waffly but i wanted to do a vlog for a long time and i think that this has got legs and i think we that i'm going to sort of turn this into something a little bit more formal possibly with a youtube channel or something you know the meanderings of a mad menopause or middle-aged woman or something like that so whatever you think you would like um to you know me to talk about i'm really happy i'm very open i'm an open book i'm very honest about things and uh you know i'm i said we're all in this together so uh, thanks for listening guys and uh yeah i'll speak to you soon bye